So I'm not one to sit here and throw stones because I do live in a glass house. Nigel from Wales, UK. Considering the condition of several TNA stars, do you think it's time for Dixie Carter to stop meeting with the United States Congress and finally get a proper work and wellness policy that would see the likes of Ric Flair and Jeff Hardy suspended or forced to enter rehab? She told us that, uh, that everyone's clean and everyone's tested. Do you believe this? I would have to be there to see them actually take someone and test them and physically witness the testing and to see if the test really went to a lab or did it just go outside and get thrown away. Uh, I can't believe they're doing any testing there because with the Hardy situation that happened on their pay-per-view where he was sent out there and could not perform at all was a travesty. It was a, an injustice to, to him and a tr an injustice to our industry, a slap in the face to the fans who bought the pay-per-view, uh, a slap in the face to the guys in the locker room who might have been tested and who had to witness someone like this. And for Hogan to say that he's running the company and he's involved and let this kid go out there the way he was in that condition, what if the guy had went out there and fell dead? Now we got a serious personal injury lawsuit going. They're not, I don't think they're testing. And as far as that goes, Ric Flair out there on the pay-per-view, woo, woo, got a gusher going out of his head, bleeding all over everyone with this uh, HIV positive guy running around. It's got 12 or 15 counts of passing uh, the HIV virus on to, to 12 or 15 different women. Uh, he's, this guy's facing 100 years in prison. And then you got the, the, the hepatitis C thing going around now where some of the guys got hepatitis C. Billy Graham says he got it. And he, he don't know if, who, who he got it from, but it's affected his liver. It's affected his new liver. Uh, and one of the guys in Canada says Abdullah the Butcher gave it to him. Abdullah won't go get tested. Uh, WWE does test and they have, but they will not release the names, they have had a couple of guys test positive for the hepatitis C and those people did not get contracts. 